big vibes. Look, I'm about my pledge. Bitch. I'm decked up on blue bills, and I won't stop until the cash pit. There's like fall leaves in the back field. Tell her out of my face if she coming with that bull. Quick to save my peace, I'm so after school special. She rainy, but them jeans looking like paint. I got a blessing. Just talk a whole lot, no more damn where they really can't press us. I notated on leaflet. I'm really up a few levels with it. Like way, way off the way from them. Can't see me, you can't battle with us. E and J in my Earl Grey hood, bunched up with the cheese eggs and a dumb face. No stunner shade, still turned up. Then had it pop in in broad day, that's Avi. Flower child from the sun rays, but I run fade, got a punch drunk. My providence, they don't love us. They rather treat us like an animal. They wonder why we on A. Escape the shit, I'm off the cannabis. Middle fingers in tandem, going tantrum. Yelling f 12 with a big smile, young phantom. Hi, mama, on camera. Coming live from the mud pit, we don't take post beef for granted. I plan to keep it stress free, live and die young. I leave it on the canvas. It's split up some. Hello. It's your boy, Hello. honestly, bad. It's my boy Dylan, and we're doing my first fast car review ever on this channel. It's something I've been wanting to do. A lot of my buddies got some pretty freaking great wides, like this one that you saw earlier. It's my buddy's Big Turbo 335. And like I said, this is my friend Dylan. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, the whole process of the manual swap on it. Uh, I think you did the intercooler too on there. Um, the link to their YouTube uh, channel, him and my buddy Zach run it, Chi Town Tuners. Go ahead and check them out too. Um, so Dylan, my man, <laughs> I've seen this car on jack stands more than I've seen it on the road. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> <laughs> it's a running meme now that every BMW we, we see is on jack stands because it's either yours, the other Zach's, Zach's, Zach's yeah. car on jack stands when I go over to Zach's house. They love their house. jack stands. <laughs> so, um, but the, I mean, this car is freaking impressive you know i i don't know i knew a lot about bmws but like stock bmws when i worked at a bmw dealership yeah. and then when i met him and zach and kind of watching them work on it and working on them a little bit too helping them out he's learned a lot uh, but this car it's freaking amazing you'll see the numbers here <laughs> soon um but we're just gonna kind of go down the list of the, the crap that's done to it now uh, just to kind of give you a perspective of how much work's been into it uh, but as i mentioned before it's th the main things are going to be the big turbo and this was an automatic um that he did the manual swap and i'd help yes. a little bit with we so were trying to get it in so <laughs> Let's, let's start. Let's go down that list. I see the the, the prices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, well, the car's come a long way. So, um, when I first bought the car a little over two years ago, um, it was stock automatic 335. It's um, it had the sport package, but no iDrive. So, um, pretty base model, I would say. Um, but as the you know. As the years have gone on, um, we've been, me and Zach have been modifying it. Um, you know, started off with just the, we maxed out the stock turbos, um, you know, with just full bolt ons, down pipes, intercooler, um, stage two fuel pump. Um, that was pretty much it. But then, um, you know, as <laughs> <it's not, laughs> time goes on, um, you know, I decided to go uh, big turbo with it. So I went with the Dock Race um, Precision 6266 uh, turbo. Um, so as the full Dock Dock Race top mount kit, um, I had done the kit a year ago, um, pretty much a year ago this month. Um, we started out, we just did the kit. I still had the stage two fuel pump and the seven inch intercooler. Um, so it was a pretty mild build for, you know, a good year. Um, it wasn't anything too crazy. Um, but then, you know, uh, I was the, we were out racing one night. Um, the automatic wasn't liking that oh, much yeah. power. Um, you know, the trans was slipping pretty bad. Um, and then eventually a couple days after the race night, I was cruising around with the car and then it completely lost third gear. Um, so was that, was that the race? Yeah. Okay. Cause I got video <laughs> clips of that. Yeah. I can, I can right, throw but... that in there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that the trans went out, um, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do. Um, whether it was going to be get you know a built automatic or manual swap it which at the time um you know manual swapping i didn't know how hard of a job that was going to be um but luckily there was one of our the fellow bmw youtubers put out a really good diy for how to do the manual swap um so yeah we uh we, we that was the route we went with <laughs> um 
So yeah, when we did the manual swap, uh, I threw a Clutch Masters 7.25 twin disc in it. Um, so at, at that point on, I was like, you know what, screw it. Like, it, it's got a twin disc now. Like, we might as well just send it for big power, um, which is what we did. So after that, I, you know, I ordered a um, the uh, Precision Raceworks Black Market Parts uh, intake manifold. So it's an aluminum intake manifold with 750cc injectors for the port injection. So it has the direct injectors and now an extra six port injection um, injectors on the top. I know um, that. Yeah. <laughs> so 12 injectors. <laughs> um, so we did that. I did the uh, stage three fuel pump. So now there's two Walbro 450s in tank um, and it's a bucketless system. So, you know, that, that pumps a pretty good amount of fuel. Um, so at the time, a year ago, I was running a JB4 with this car. Um, I've since then gotten rid of the JB4. I now run a full custom tune for my tuner um, through MHD. And I run an AI6 split second controller for the port injection, um, which I then I now use the Go Fast Bits GeForce 3 for a boost controller, um, which pairs very nicely with the AEM AFR gauge uh, for a lean cut feature. So if I'm in boost and it sees above you know a 13 afr it'll cut the boost controller um so it keeps me from leaning out i then got a pretty solid sponsorship with the car so then uh they helped me out with a seven and a half inch race intercooler um so it's a seven and a half inch stepped intercooler so it's super massive it has a full three and a half inch race exhaust um so from the down from the turbo down pipe uh, i believe it's three inch and then it opens up to a three and a half inch straight pipe exhaust with a vibrant resonator in line um which sounds incredible like it's the best sound <laughs> ever <laughs> um because i didn't want it to just be a full straight pipe because like I don't know, I didn't want it to be just ridiculously dumb loud. Um, so I think with the resonator, it like actually sounds, it sounds like a GTR, it sounds really good. <laughs> so it has 335 IS motor mounts, um, and then rev shift poly trans mounts. But everything drivetrain wise is pretty much stock. I have a stock uh, diff, stock axles. Um, I have the automatic diff actually, so the gears are a little bit lighter. Um, it's a 346 versus the manual 308. Um, but yeah, other than that, the drivetrain is 100% stock. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, the only other really like interior mods I did was for the manual was the shifter. Um, and then that uses a, it's chassis mounted shifter and it uses a stainless steel um, billet shift rod uh, for the shift linkage. So there's literally no, <laughs> no slop yeah. in there at all. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much the whole build. It's, it's basically just, uh, full boltons plus uh, you know with the the turbo kit and the fuel pumps that's pretty much all you need turbo and fuel yeah. <laughs> to make the big power so now i didn't i didn't hear you mention it i don't know if i don't remember if you guys did it uh suspension wise did you oh, do yeah. any coilovers so, and it's uh so when i bought the car we had thought it was completely stock suspension but supposedly the previous owner actually did do h and r lowering springs okay. um so it just has springs um other than that it's stock though stock shocks um and, and everything like that and then i know you just got the r triple eight r's right yes the toyos yeah. so, so uh, how bit how wide were they it's uh so right now it's uh it's a 265 35 18 um that okay. was the biggest size they had in stock <laughs> but i'm uh, you know once I get an LSD in there, um, I'm going to be upgrading, probably getting a wider set of wheels and definitely wider tires because um, it's going to be hard to put that much power yeah. down to the ground. So we'll see where it goes. <laughs> now, I know we were like, oh, they're not going to care about maintenance, but what, how much, because I always make the joke with the jack stands, <laughs> how much crap is actually went wrong already um other than you running out of gas the other night um yeah the fuel gauge is still broken so <laughs> um maintenance wise everything's been replaced um like i it's hard to even remember you know valve cover we just put a new valve cover on oil pan gasket um water pump thermostat injectors have gone bad the turbos were on their way out when i you know upgraded to the single turbo kit um the low pressure fuel pumps go bad high pressure fuel pumps go bad um like the list goes on the oil filter housing gasket yep. um basically everything surrounding the engine <laughs> it yep. goes wrong besides the engine so 
That's the one yeah. thing I noticed when I worked at BMW and Mini is just there's so much crap. I don't want to say crap, but crap that's plastic. Yes. That should probably be aluminum or, or some kind of yeah. metal just because yep. it they cracks and get brittle it, over yeah, time. So it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So that's now we we didn't get to do anything last year because of COVID and everything. Yeah. Um, but I know this year we're hoping to do more. Yeah, for were sure. You, were you planning on taking to a drag and see what you would get in a quarter? I would like to, yeah. Okay. Um, you know, because I know Juliet Raceway is closed for the year again, mm. but um, you know, we're gonna see what we can kind of do. I'm gonna I'm gonna buy a draggy, um, just to mess around with on the street, get some like sixty to one thirty times. Um, you know, just do a few launches to see, yeah. what, you know, what it gets on the street. But I would like to, you know, at some point try and bring it to a drag strip this year and see what kind of numbers it does. So. Yeah. Now, I, we we already did all of the dyno and everything, so we're not beating on the car today. Um, so I'm going to put some clips that Dylan's going to send me um, showing him kind of ripping the car. I believe what, it was two nights ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is when he ran out of gas. But anyways, <laughs> uh, I'm going to put those clips in just to kind of give you an idea of, you know, how freaking quick yeah. this car is. It's a fun car. Um, and then you'll obviously see in, in the dino, the little dino vlog kind of ish stuff that we did <laughs> earlier. Um, just the cars screams, you know, there's no way of putting it other than it, it really, to me, it sounds like a GTR. I've only got to hear maybe three ever in my lifetime, but it's for me, it's it sounds close. close. Yeah. Um, but no, I'm, I'm excited to have this type of content. I've been wanting to do it. I bothered them all year about <laughs> making this video, make, especially my other buddies. And I'm not going to say what cars they have and everything um, in the videos that are coming this year, just because, you know, it's the nice way. And the, the reason why I'm bringing this is more to give everyone an idea of what you can achieve on honestly not too bad of a budget either um yeah. you know we're all most of us are still in colleges some of us like myself are finally in our careers making some money to you know put into cars um but it, kind of the range of the different vehicles we all have i mean it's we have almost everything yeah we have from <laughs> you know euro korean japanese i mean we have pretty much American, everything like it's yeah, got, yeah. We, so it's that's you guys are going to want to just click that subscribe button. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted to get to. And definitely follow him too, because of course, if you're more interested in seeing the whole timeline of this car, they do an okay job of trying. <laughs> the videos aren't that good. <laughs> an okay job of getting everything. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, <laughs> they try. <laughs> it's hard because even when I'm over, you'll see me kind of pop in probably one of the videos making yeah. some kind of remark. Um, we don't have the best equipment, yeah. but it's because we spend our money on car parts. Yeah. <laughs> and it's more, and it's more too like, it's almost always something is not necessarily going wrong or we're just having a hard time and we just want to get it done because yeah. when for some reason when we decide to work on their cars it's like freaking eight o'clock at night. Yeah, pretty and much. It's like we all got to go work the next morning. So. <laughs> but yeah, Shy Town Tuners, um, it's him and Zach's channel down in the description. You know, follow them, give them a like, help them grow too. They're they're trying their best. You know, maybe yeah. maybe help make them a couple extra bucks to get their <laughs> equipment. Um, yeah. But yeah, we're gonna just pretty much cut straight into um, the video of you know him pulling <laughs> on the highway the other night. Um, obviously, everything's at 55 miles an hour. These BMWs are slow. Um, but then I'll also we're gonna go straight into the dyno and we hope you enjoy see you later guys Uh, that's like 
18 pounds? Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, so we made 4.93 on waste gate, which was 13 pounds, right? And then you made 5.63 on 18 pounds. 17, 17, 17, 17. I fucking. <laughs> That's not bad. A little happy guy. Glitch in the system. It was actually 671 that pool. Fifty-five percent, dude. What, what was that PSI? Twenty-six. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. I can't wait to bring my key on. Just get embarrassed. Eighteen and twenty-six. Oh my God. Dude, that thing like spit dust at me. So if you blow it, you're gonna fully fill it. What? How close? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're we're doing a new file. We're gonna do one more run. Really push this bad boy. See what you can do. And uh, yeah. Holy crap! 
crap, dude! Thank you, man. 669. 746. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Are you happy, Dad? Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh my God.